so while the sun's shining today we're gonna go see the um, Devil's Bridge waterfall. And Sam's gonna give a salted devil. <laughs> Seems better than other. Or two pounds to pay. Oh, yeah. Hi Kay. Hiya. How are you? How are you? <laughs> All right, Tar. Uh, Good. You come do the long walk or the short walk? Uh, the long walk, please. The long walk. Cash only at the moment, I'm afraid. All our all yeah. signals are non existent yeah. at the moment, I'm afraid. <laughs> so, I'm sure. So, two adults is £9. Would you like a side cut or 50 pence? Oh, yeah, please. Yeah, £9.50 altogether. Sign tons at night. I'm fine with you, but I'm not going to support the road. That's true. £369. Yeah, thank you. Wow, well, looks interesting. Looks like there's a lot of stairs. I can burn some calories. <laughs> yeah. Who built the first bridge? The devil or the monk? Nice bridges. Does the bridges go? <laughs> What's it say? The legendary Please devil turn me bridge. Till the message plays. Turn till the message plays. A bit slower. Christ. Oh, maybe not working. <laughs> I don't know. That's a unity, you're back. <laughs> oh, listen. Eine Legende zufolge. Oh, it's in Welsh. Der Teufel im 11. Jahrhundert. I don't understand that. Please turn me till the message plays. Welcome to Devil's Bridge Waterfalls and Punch Bowl. Listen while I explain about the natural and historic facts of this fascinating area of Wales. Oh, yeah, it's all history and nature and historic facts. Look at the three facts. bridges in front of you. And see how they are built one on top of another. The lowest bridge was the first to be built around the 11th century oh, yeah, and was used century. for those traveling by foot who needed a quick and safe way across the Oh, so there's three bridge. bridges all on top of one Much another. One, two, three. A bigger, wider bridge was built for horse and cars. And in 1901, the top bridge was constructed to stand the modern day traffic. Mm. The river that the three so the prices for today was um, £4.50 each in cash <laughs> and we've took the long route. So was it cheaper for the shorter route? £2 for the shorter route and £4.50 for the longer route. Oh, £2 for the shorter route and £4.50 for the longer route. <laughs> and 50 pence for the programme, for map. Oh yeah, and 50 pence for the uh, map. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you can't beat a good nature trail, can you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Especially if it's too much all week. Yeah, that's what I thought, thinking. Nice, uh, good walk around here, good blowout. We've not done a lot really, activity wise, have we? All no. week. We've been swimming and stuff, but. Found a shop, the chocolate shop. <laughs> How much was it, Stephen? For this 35 pounds 20 each. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I know. Oh, it's a train. There's a train there. What? There's a 
Morning everyone, so this is our last full day at uh, New Adwin in Wales, in uh, Bryn Hoffnant, that's where we are. Um, I've just got a few uh, tips to show you. So, I don't know about anybody else what caravans, but we're like always losing our keys, not losing our keys, misplacing our keys constantly. Um, we've got that much to do and that much kill everywhere. We always seem to forget where we've put our keys. So um, we decided to buy one of these. Key safer. Has a shank on it. Just press it, press that button there. And that's in. You attach it to anything. But, the, but to move a Volvo key, it's a big key. It'll fit in it long ways, but when you try to shut it, it doesn't fit in. So we got this one for Caravana. As well as with our, our caravan keys, our spare caravan keys. Why? Oh, I mean, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> it's like a button there you press and it releases it. And all we do is put onto our steady leg at front. It can be a real lifesaver that if we did happen to. We've never actually lost them totally, we've always like mis misplaced them. Well, out, was, yeah. <laughs> but then you're spending that so much time looking for them. You put combination in it. Combinations are really easy to set on this and to change it. That's it, just lock them. Slide it up in. You got, you got your spare key. Yeah. But the Volvo key won't fit in there. Fitting long way, we're trying to shut shut it, it's too wide. So, we bought this one, this is a master lock key safe. It's quite a bit more dear, it's 41 pounds. But again, it has an adjustable shank. I'll just put a combination in it, and I'll show you. To reset the number just pull that one up with a screwdriver put your combination in it and pull it down again and it sets it because my Volvo key is quite a big key but it, it, it fits this one easily and it shuts in it now in it quite easily now and to put on your tow bar so I put mine when we go swimming all you got to do is put my tow bar and just press that <laughs> shit in press that button to release it and it's on a Put my key in it, 
just move it away so I'm jumping from this and <laughs> I can't bother to change it. <laughs> then once it's locked into it, uh, drag it across the tow bar. Yeah, it'll save us loads of Yeah, it saves us loads of We'll go camping or uh, swimming. <laughs> I put a key in a safe place and I don't, I don't know what I've done with it about five minutes time. <laughs> At least this way, no matter who gets back, and how it happens, uh, Sam can drive, so if that happened to me, she needed to drive the car, she knows where keys are. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> no, Sam, crap up keeping keys, I was losing them. <laughs> this week we spent half an hour every day finding damn keys. <laughs> yeah, so that's just a little tip for any yeah. caravanners or campers or wherever, it's yeah. just so. The master looks quite a lot bigger, but it's quite a lot dearer now. It's £41.99. Yeah, yeah. That other one was a good lock as well, wasn't it? Yeah. Pretty cheap, that one. Yeah, £17. That, that, that's a large version of that one, £17. Yeah. They do a small, medium version for £13.99. even at 40 or 17 even £40, still cheaper than a new car key. Yeah. Isn't it? End of day, yeah. if you lose your car key, they're expensive, aren't they, to replace? I went into a total, didn't I? I was talking to Keith and Total and walked out of them. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> I get a lifeguard, don't find my keys. <laughs> <laughs> they were quite happy to help me, weren't they? Yeah, yeah. They looked quite bored, didn't they? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so this is, like I say, our last full day at, at um, New Adwin. And yeah, it's been it's been a, a nice nice day. The only, the only negative things I can say about the site is that they haven't cut the grass. So it's really long now. Um, and I said at the beginning of the video, it's no dogs here, which it's no dogs, but they have actually got two dogs, which they do come um, bike caravans each day. There's been two more caravans here, they've gone now. Is it now. Up to me? The last guy board, he just needed a break from doing the same old, same old, I think. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that way, I'm not saying we did their board, to keep people's lives out, but it was up to me, like, it needed a change. Yeah. So, yeah, like I was saying, um, because I was really into yeah, it. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> what was on your mind? Two more caravans, they've actually gone. Um, but the negative things is, like I say, the, no, the grass has not been cut while well, we've been here, been here uh, nine days. And also they've got two dogs, which the dogs come to caravan, just, you know, just say hello, and friendly dogs, but they let the dogs poo on the grass. And we stood in it, haven't we, twice? Yeah, twice, yeah. And like, it's just unexpected, you know, you're not looking out for dog shit on, on caravan sites, caravan parks. Mm. So, it's, it's, and, and the grass is that long, to be fair, you don't even see the dog shit. Do they specifically said no dogs allowed, but our dogs are allowed, but they don't even pick their own dog pool, mm, do they? Yeah, that's it, yeah. It's not, not no, no thing to the dogs. It's just like, like say, the owner's not picking dog crap up, unless they maybe don't know. And then, Yesterday, oh. when the man was folding his arm in it up, a great big dog was jumping over his arm in it. Yeah, as he was folding it up. Yeah, they were folding it up, so I don't know. I don't come here again, not a chance. No. Not a walking in dog pool, and that on that arm, if, it, if they scratch the window or, or, or put another window on an arm in, mm. then do your arm in. Yeah. So, but 10 out of 10, 10 out of 10 for the, um, for the, for where it is. Yeah. Yeah, it's lovely, isn't it? It's like two miles away from the nearest beach and it's a really nice beach. I think it's Lan Langrand Gog or something. Because it's all A roads to it and the last couple hundred yards is a B road. Even a B road is it's two lane traffic kind of thing. Mm. And it's easy access but everything else I won't come against. It's very quiet. It's just like laziness and on the behalf. Yeah. It has to be. Yeah, and round where you empty the um chemical toilet and where you fill up the nettles are really long and like so even about electric point on the first day when i was plugging electric in there was great big um thistles, thistles like well like like bamboo bush yeah. things aren't there with thorns on them ah oh, come on down didn't i that that thing yeah thinking, I, 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 yeah I getting, uh, nettles, nettles. yeah, yeah. come on down but so the campsite we've, we've ever done it oh this one i've been like long and mm, this is the first one we've ever been yeah. where it's uh it's advertised at an acre but no way it, 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 it'll be a good half an acre if that yeah, yeah, no more than half an acre yeah yeah but quiet it's lovely and quiet peaceful, like i yeah. say it's really peaceful and it's got some lovely views just like the same on on owner's part that they are keeping the mm. keeping it what's the word up, up 
Maintained. Yeah. Maintained, yeah, maintained, that's the word. <laughs> you can't always think of words on the spot on camera, can yeah, you? Yeah, it's hard. <laughs> yeah, maintained, but like I said, only them few things, but yeah. to us, that, them two things are enough to mm. not bring us back here again, yeah. anywhere. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> So today we're going to go look around um, New, New Key, aren't we? And uh, we'll take you with us, and if we see out nice there, we'll uh, we'll stick the camera on and, and cardigan. Yeah, and cardigan. Yeah, we'll have a look around there yeah. as well. So yeah, see you a bit later. So this is New Key in Wales, Pearl Harbour. Very busy at the moment because there's quite a lot of dolphin activity. We've just had a look and seen a few. Water. A lot of boat trips. Oh! <laughs> yeah, there's loads of boat trips at the moment because there's quite a lot of dolphins. Coming in out of water, in there. Fifteen pound now, aren't that boat? Yeah. Boat trip. <laughs> yeah, it's quite nice, Randy. It's quite warm today as well. There we are. We're all hooked up, ready, and packed to go away. <laughs> to go away home. Yeah. <laughs> So that brings it, like I said, to the end of this video. So if you watched this far, thank you very much for watching and we'll see you again very soon. Yeah, thank you then. See you later. Bye.